day seven of our countdown to the new year. Today, I was thinking about Mary. And you know, in Luke 1, it tells us the story of um, Elizabeth, first of all, how she um, suddenly was pregnant in her old age. She was pregnant. She had been told she would never have any kids, but then God blessed her and her husband. Now she was married, but Mary wasn't even married yet. She was just engaged to be married. And an angel came to her. And I'm telling you, I don't know about you, but I would have freaked out if an angel walked into the room and started telling me things that were going to happen to me and that God had chosen me for a certain thing. Now, a lot of times we are told that we are chosen. People will give us a word of knowledge and tell us that God chose us for a certain thing. But an angel, mm, that's a little bit more, you know? So, um, I'm just going to read a little bit about what happened in a minute. But I wanted to tell you, you know, there's, we know that she was um, obviously a pure woman. She was good. And that's why God chose her, because he could see that she would be the right one to raise his son, Jesus, right? So, um, it's kind of funny how God's plan was different than Mary's plan. Now, Mary thought she was going to go through all the normal ceremonial things and have her wedding day the way that it normally goes, where the the spouse comes and then, you know, all this wonderfulness happens. But God decided she was going to be pregnant right now. So suddenly she's pregnant before she's married when she's never done anything to get herself pregnant. So it was totally by the Holy Spirit. And she also got told that her cousin Elizabeth was with child who had never been able to have kids, right? I just said that. So she goes to see her and John the Baptist is who her son was. And he jumped in as soon as Mary came in. And that was kind of a tell thing there too, because it's like, okay, see, now we're both pregnant. <laughs> this is definitely what God's plan is. And I, Mary was probably like, oh my gosh, I really am pregnant with this baby from heaven. <laughs> so that must have been really, really difficult for her to, you know, come to grips with. But as my husband said, the Holy Spirit most likely, you know, helped her to understand it. Because that's who enlightens us when we're coming to know who Jesus is. It's really the Holy Spirit who is showing us who he is. He is enlightening us. So anyway, so sometimes in our lives, we go through things that are, um, our plans are changed. Sort of like back a few days, a few years ago, actually not days, <laughs> like around 30. Um, my husband and I had plans that when he got out of the Navy, we'd go back home to where our families lived. Well, we were, that was our plan. And I'm kind of a stickler. When we plan something, I want to do that plan. I don't care what the trouble is. We're going to do this plan. That's it. But you know, God always has a little bit different plans than me or quite often. And so this time we're on our way to church one day and this was just after I think that our pastor said offered my husband a job as a children's pastor and also as a uh, maintenance person for the preschool that the church also ran. And that way we'd be able to afford, you know, to stay in California. <laughs> but the really neat thing to me is I was being stubborn. I just, just wanted to go home with where, where my family lived and get our lives going up there. You know, I didn't even know what he was going to do for a job. And I figured I'd go back to being a daycare teacher which would have been fine for me, but God had a different plan. And just like with Mary, God had a different plan. He showed me how I was becoming, um, I was about to become a Jonah. 
end up in the belly of a whale, which to me meant something probably bad would have happened had we moved back to Washington. But instead, we accepted the position, we did what God wanted, and I can hope that lives were changed because of it, but I don't know. I just know that our lives were changed because of it, and we chose to stay here in California, and we've had a lot of good times here, we've had a lot of good friends, and our kids have grown up here, and, you know, we followed God's plan for our lives, and that's a good thing. So, I'm going to read a little bit now from Luke, and... Um, Here we go. Um, in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think of the, what the angel could mean. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel told her, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son. You will name his name Jesus, and he will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over all Israel. Mary said, how can this happen? I am a virgin. And the angel replied, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby will be born holy, and he will be called the Son of God. What's more, he told her about Elizabeth. Now here's the best part. Well, one of the best parts. The end of this, this section in Luke 1.37 says, The word of God will never fail. And you can count on that, because throughout the entire Bible, the Word of God will never fail. So look to God today and see where He is telling you to go and what He's telling you to do for this season. Then accept it, because He's put it before you to, to walk in. So just walk in it. Know that His plans are better than yours. See you next time.